Well, next tonight, an international aid charity in Nottingham has sent search and rescue teams to parts of Morocco, devastated by the strongest earthquake in a century. Nearly 3,000 people have died and a further 300,000 have been affected, losing their homes and having no access to safe water, food or medical help. Jane Hesketh reports. Many of the remote villages in the Al Hauz province, high in the Atlas Mountains, have been destroyed by the earthquake. The inhabitants lost everything. The charity Muslim Hands deployed rescue workers on the ground immediately. At a Zoom meeting in their Nottingham headquarters, members of the search and rescue teams updated them. You've been speaking with the uh, earthquake survivors there. Um, you mentioned that you met with this uh, young boy, a nine-year-old boy. Could you maybe make mention of that to kind of drive the message home, what's, what's happening on the ground? I have uh, come across many tragic stories, but the, the one that uh, really shook me uh, the most is that of a, a nine-year-old boy uh, who very bravely spoke about how he held his mother's hand uh, for hours uh, while the rest of her, her body was buried under the rubble. Um, and powerlessly watched her die. Um, I mean, it's impossible not to be crushed uh, by uh, this kind of suffering. And, and, and being a mother myself, this story has hit me extremely hard. In practical terms, it's logistics. Getting from A to B that's problematic. Did you find it was easy to get to those locations because we're hearing heavy machinery is unable to reach those lo remote locations and actually people are suddenly having to dig out the rubble with their own hands? Exactly, that's true. And even, believe it or not, like, you know, some some areas, like back to the Stone Age, where they start using donkeys, like, to transport the aid, mm -hmm. yeah, because there's no access for any, like, you know, vehicle or motorcycle or anything. Only donkeys can go. As the search teams look for signs of life, Muslim hands are concentrating on getting vital supplies to survivors. So far, they've helped 400 households, each with at least seven family members. So our priority right now is the emergency phase. So we're desperately trying to get food and water out to the survivors. But alongside that, because of people being so, you know, many of them completely lost their, their homes, especially in that epicentre area, there, there were traditional Berber uh, clay and mud brick buildings which have just collapsed. They had no chance of surviving against an earthquake of 6.8 on the Richter scale. So we're also providing tents and also blankets uh, to keep them warm at night, but also keep them hydrated and fed through the day. The British Red Cross has also launched an appeal to support the growing humanitarian needs. They say safe water's essential to avoid a disaster within a disaster. Jane Hesketh, ITV News.